Welcome to our house. Hi everyone, I'm Kelsey from Kelsey This Year and I'm going to be showing you a house tour. We are moving out of Alki here in West Seattle. We have a beautiful townhouse and I'm really excited to show you the whole tour before we officially move out. We have about a week until movers come. We've already moved a lot of our stuff so this is kind of the decluttered more minimal, um, less decorated version of what it was when we were actually living here. But it is ready to go. But the house is pending right now, so we have a week until movers, and then close date is in about two weeks from today. So I wanted to share it with you, and then also for the memories, uh, make sure I have some great memories of the house. So a little bit about this spot. Um, we bought it in 2019. It was a brand new build. There's about five units, five townhouses here in this area. It's a really cute little spot. We're half a block away from the beach. So I absolutely love that. Um, I'll show you some outside shots of the townhouse and everything too. But it's a two bedroom. We converted one of the bedrooms into a TV room that you'll see. And then, yeah, have fun decorating it. So I'll show you all of that good stuff. And then we have a beautiful roof up at the top. If you haven't already, check out the full moving series on my channel. Again, subscribe, make sure those notifications are good to go, all of that good stuff so I can see you around. I try to post every Sunday. Throughout the tour, I'm gonna to share most of the products and then I'll also link everything I can find in the description box below if you're interested in shopping the pieces or similar pieces. Um, in our living room here, uh, we have a leather couch from West Elm. have absolutely loved it. Ryder has his little paw scratch marks on the couch, but I think it helps it age really well and is beautiful. Have these fun two side chairs from Target, and then have just used a combination of pillows from Target and Etsy. Really love the mud cloth detail on some of those pillows. This rug is also Target. This was a recent purchase after Ryder ruined um, this other one that we had. The original one we used was from Nordic Knots, which was a really, really um, cute brand with still really affordable rug prices. And then this one is the um, Studio Mickey collection for Target. For a side table, I have actually never loved this side table. I think it's just some cheap one, I don't know from where. But we have a beautiful woven basket and then a Moroccan poof that we actually didn't buy when we went to Morocco, but we got it right afterwards as a gift from Brian's parents. So I um, absolutely love that. Two great books that we have is coffee table books, Surf Shack and Los Angeles. Los Angeles was a gift from my cousin Devin. Another favorite in this room is this fiddly fig. In previous apartments that we've had, I've tried to grow real fiddly figs and they do not work. Uh, I, I kill all of them and so with this one this is from West Elm and is faux and a fun trick is I put real dirt in the bottom so it looks a little bit more natural so pro tip for you there. Wanted to share a little entryway moment with you. Uh, this is a beautiful print of Big Sur that I found on Etsy. Uh, Big Sur is where Brian and I got engaged so I both love the water and then the fun memory every time I come home about that trip uh, is really special. Have a fun little basket from Ikea and then a cute wood bench. Um, I don't remember, I think I, I think that piece is from Wayfair. This painting is a piece that I wanted to share. This was actually from our friend's time, Victoria. Since we're so close to the beach, all of the water paintings and beach scenes uh, are just what I love staring at in my home since it's super relaxing. Now in the townhouse you move from the living room to the dining room to the kitchen. Really kind of open floor concept here. The living room does have two story ceilings so that makes it super airy and bright. Here in the living room I have a mirror to help widen the space, make it feel a little bit roomier. And then here is our dining table. We have a table and a bench that my dad and brother actually made for us. Um, my dad's a general contractor and when we were moving into our previous apartment, um, yeah, they made it for us and it was really fun. They surprised us at Christmas where we were actually having Christmas dinner at my aunt and uncle's house and there was a tablecloth under it so we couldn't see what it was and they unveiled it for us. And yeah, just a really fun uh, Christmas memory with the family. I have an Ikea sheepskin little throw, it's fake sheepskin. I know Jenny Kane has some really beautiful ones that I want to grab for the new house when we do finally move. 
and then just have some basic um, metal dining chairs that again won't come with us to the new house but they help serve their purpose here. Over in the corner you see we have a cute bar cabinet so that's wicker, a wickered front with wood and then that piece is from Target. It was a really great find. Um, love sticking all of my barware in there, all of my kind of fancier glasses. It is a great just kind of L-shaped kitchen. The fridge was a little bit small in this space so we're excited to get a bigger fridge in the new house. Um, the gas oven, gas stove, and then yeah, just had great kind of storage space and everything. Come look at this amazing. <laughs> this is one of my favorite little organizational tips. These are from Etsy to just make all your spices look really cute. So highly recommend those. And then also the little pads so that they things don't shift around in your doors. Another favorite organizational tip are labels. So labeling and grouping things is very helpful. And then I love these little turnstiles for extra kind of toppings to make it easy for smoothies. And then also all of oils and just kind of commonly used spices keeping really close to your, to your oven. So now let's head on upstairs to the second floor. Alright, when you get up to the second floor, we have some cute pompous grass here in the corner. And then we have the entrance to our second bedroom. We are now in our second bedroom, which we converted into a TV room slash office. When we moved into this place in November 2019, of course, we had no idea that COVID was coming right around the corner. And so we were both really fortunate to be able to work from home throughout the pandemic. Um, and so we converted this into uh, an office and then we put one of the other desks down on the main floor. So this TV room, we put up really fun um, removable wallpaper. We're gonna leave it up for the next people, but it's really easy to, you just pull it down. It's not like actually taking apart, taking down actual wallpaper. If you've ever done that, that's a pain. I do not recommend putting that up unless it's a very permanent situation. Um, so really fun wallpaper there. Um, just have our TV mounted. I really love how we put but they're Sonos, but then the cord hider um, just makes it look a lot cleaner and they're super cheap on Amazon or wherever. So just a really elevated look for not that much money. So I definitely recommend um, getting one of those if you don't have one already. Then we have just an easy Ikea um, media console and then we have an Ikea couch in here as well. Loved that this pulled out into a bed if we did have friends or family come over. We've had this piece for <laughs> a few moves now and I think it's finally time we'll be graduating away from it. We will be passing it along to the next lucky Ikea couch holder but it has definitely served its purpose and it also has great kind of extra storage area. So if you're looking for something similar, it definitely did the job. We also squeezed in an exercise bike here. We actually have Chromecast on the TV and so we actually just streamed Peloton classes without having to like buy the actual Peloton bike. So a little pro tip there um, where if you can do that, it will save you a lot on like fancier bike. And then at the beginning of the pandemic, I worked up here so it was really fun. This was my, the beautiful wallpaper was my work background. Partway through, Brian was getting really sick of sitting downstairs. A writer will always bark at folks who are coming to the door. And so he, yeah, just got really sick of it and asked to switch. And it was actually, we loved the switch when we did. So I was then spent kind of the second half um, of the past few years working from the main floor. So this was the second bedroom and now we'll see the rest of this second floor. There's our laundry and then we also have a full bath. Both of the two top floors have these really nice hallways that connect the bedrooms to a hall closet and then the bathrooms. So it's the same layout on the second and then third floors. So this is kind of the spare, spare bedroom floor and then upstairs will be all of our kind of main bedroom, main closet. So we have washer and dryer that we've added in here. Since it is a smaller space, we added in a little wall laundry hanging rack. So this has been really helpful when you're trying to dry, air dry stuff. So that's a great space saver. And then all of the home closets just have these kind of white wire rack that came with it. So 
tons of great storage for your linens and here is a really nice landing this goes down to that main floor we have full windows that go down and so that makes it really nice and bright um, for the main living area this is a really fun modern light that we have here i was also interested in changing it out to kind of a fun wicker pendant light but Hadn't done that just since this wasn't our kind of permanent forever home, so I'm hoping to do something fun like that in our new space. Now we're gonna head on up to the third floor, which is where our main bedroom is. So up on the third floor, you come upstairs, and then right where you are is the bedroom. And then again, we have the hall closet where we have our closet, another linen closet, and then the main bathroom. And then the door to the back, that's the kind of covered patio area before you go up to the roof. I've gone upstairs, I'm on the third floor now, and I'm in our main bedroom. Have love this space, we get really beautiful morning light that you can see that's coming in right now. So I love waking up to the sun, I think it's really nice, like ne more natural way to wake up. Um, so I personally really love having the sun come in. For our bed, um, most of the bedding is parachute, our sheets, um, the linen duvet, and then this blanket is from Casa Luna at Target. Our pillows are a mix of home goods, Target, and parachute as well. This is an Ikea Hemnes dresser. I converted the little handles so that they're a little bit cuter. So that's a really fun tip too that can elevate a piece that you get at Target. This mirror was Target as well. And then this little vase was actually an H&M vase. And these are beautiful pompous grass that I dried. They're really easy to do. At least here in Seattle, they have them all over just randomly. And so if you bring a pair of clippers in your car, you can kind of grab some and then lay them out to dry and then actually sprayed hairspray on them to keep all the little tufts coming in. So that's another good pro tip for you. I really love this bedroom. It was really white and bright and cozy. I personally, I love watching TV on my laptop before bed, getting all cozy in the Seattle winters and everything when it can be so gray. I just absolutely loved um, spending time in this bedroom and being all, all cozy. So I have really loved this space and I'll definitely miss it, but excited for whatever new bedroom that we get when we finally do buy a new house. Now in our main closet, we added custom shelving from a local company here in Seattle. Uh, when we first moved in, it was just the wire shelving. Knowing how much I love clothes and having it look really nice, we put in this custom custom closet. Custom closets can tend to be really pricey, so I definitely recommend shopping around. Um, I know IKEA has really affordable options, and then there's normally local places that you can go get quotes from. So I don't recommend just going to one spot and then that's it. Definitely shop around, um, find something where you can get really great value and a layout that you really love. So for this space, we did one on either wall and then it's not here anymore, but I had a little seating bench here. So it was easy to you know, sit down, throw your shoes on. You could definitely do different styles, right? If you wanted drawers or things like that within your closet. Um, those are some great options that you can design when you're um, getting those put in. So this is our main bathroom. There wasn't a ton of storage space in here. And so we added these little plastic shelves to put makeup products and everything so that they were easy to access. Um, so that was a really great cheap addition that we did. And then over here we added some fun hooks um, just so that it looks a little bit cuter for hanging the towel. Really love that it has both the waterfall and the handheld um, shower head. So that was really nice. And then another little cubby that you can add in a bunch of your shampoos and different products there. So a lot of these little rugs and runners are from H&M Home. They have great cotton pieces, little jupe pieces, again at affordable prices, but that look really, really cute. All right, and now we head out onto the patio. We didn't spend too, too much time here. Um, this is where we have the Traeger though, where Brian would grill. And then upstairs is where the main rooftop deck is. So we are now up on my roof. This space has been absolutely amazing in the summer. It's been so, so fun to just lounge out here, read a book, sunbathe a little bit. For the actual styling of up here, most of the actual furniture up here, I believe is from Wayfair. I will try to link the pieces below if I can find them. It's been a few years since I bought them, so I'm not remembering exactly. The 
covers have been an absolute lifesaver, especially in Seattle. So the covers are from covers and all. We did get them custom sizing so that they would fit perfectly around um, the furniture. During the winter, we move most of the cushions and things like that inside. And then we actually cover the other pieces and kind of keep them all huddled in the corner to to survive the Seattle winter up here. The table is article and then the chairs are from Crate and Barrel or CB2, one of those um, that I absolutely love. It's more of a wicker style. Those did take a really long time to come in from shipping, so plan ahead if you're planning to move into somewhere for summer and you want some good outdoor furniture. These planters are just a mix from different spots. Um, I love mixing them all together and mixing a few different styles and then every year I'll replant them so that they look fresh and new for the new year. That is my roof. Let's go back downstairs to close it up. Thanks so much for watching our home tour. This is just one in a really big moving series. So you saw some of our moving vlogs that are currently up on my channel. This is a home tour and then we have so much more content coming soon when we're searching for a new home and then once we actually buy a home, we'll have a ton of decorating and if we are doing any work to the house, We'll certainly have all of that content. So please give it, this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave me a comment if you have any questions for any of the pieces that I showed you today. And then make sure you're subscribed because again, I'm posting every Sunday. So I wanna see you back uh, next week. So I'll see you then. And again, thanks so much for watching.